Targeted therapies are also sometimes called biological therapies. They are a type of drug that slows or stops the growth and spread of cancer. There are several types of targeted therapies, which each work in a different way. Targeted therapies only work for some people with non-small cell lung cancer. To find out if a targeted therapy may be suitable for you as the first type of treatment you receive, doctors will have to test some of your cancer cells. This test is called mutation testing. If you have already had another type of treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, targeted therapies may be used as a second or third type of treatment. In this case, no testing is needed. Targeted therapies consist of a tablet that you take by mouth once every day at home. You can keep taking a targeted therapy for as long as it keeps working for you. The side effects for targeted therapies are often not as bad as those experienced with other cancer treatments. Any possible side effects will be fully explained by your doctor or lung cancer nurse before starting to take the drug. Prior to getting that di diagnosed, I was sort of get, getting um, pe pain in my chest and pain in my back, uh, so which prompted, prompted me to go to the uh, G GP. Um, I was also suffering from acid reflux in my chest, which I started to go s see the GP originally. Um, after be being treated for the acid reflux, uh, sort of two or three weeks later, sort of said to him, I'm getting a bit of pain in my chest from coughing and sneezing. I saw Dr. Taylor and she asked me to go back on the following week. They were going to do a camera down into my lung, as well as a CT scan, and I was sat in the hospital waiting for the results. And then I was saw Simon and Dr. Taylor in the consulting room, and that's when they told me that it was um, I had lung cancer and a secondary bone cancer in my bones. My doctor told me that I had a pos positive uh, test to uh, mu mutation tests, so that's why they chose to put me on tar targeted th therapy. I started ta taking target th therapy treatments o over a y year ago, uh, and I take one, one tablet every day. And as far as I'm aware, it's a continuous treatment. Uh, the, the side effects that I, I experienced is Certainly in the early part of the treatment, tiredness and fatigue, and also acne, which uh, I'll have all the time that I'm on targeted therapy treatment. I know it's there, it's not painful, and in my point of view, it's a small price to pay to, to have my cancer kept under control. When I first first start, started targeted th therapy, uh, life was quite hard. Uh, certainly with the um, lack of lack of energy. Uh, just going for a walk around the outside of the house was uh, quite challenging, and certainly going upstairs was quite challenging. But as time went on. The fatigue and tiredness slowly, slowly disappears. Your energy levels slowly come back. And over, over, over the last 12 months, um, I've been able to walk further, drive the car longer distances. So I'd say my life is near, near, nearly, nearly almost back to how it was before I got diagnosed. Uh, 12 months ago. I couldn't bend over and put my socks on at one point while doing my shoelaces up. I found it very difficult and walking upstairs and certainly going for a little walk outside the house. Uh, I, I thought I was going to be a cripple in a wheelchair. I, I, was, I had them thoughts and I was 
were looking, looking at different types of mobility skills from on the internet at one point. I'm quite amazed at what I can do now 12 months further on. Walk a lot further without getting out of breath or being in pain with my back. Uh, I can walk up and down stairs as many times as you want in a day and I'm, I don't, don't feel any pain or get out of breath. Uh, my top tip for coping with fatigue and tired, tiredness is um, do what your body allows you to do. If you feel, feel like going out for a walk or, or getting in the car and going for a short drive, uh, do, do it, don't, don't, don't sit in the chair and uh, dwell on it. <laughs>